Hey guys, Paul Mitro here. Uh, just wanted to do a quick video to explain these Sennheiser XS Wireless One Series wireless systems. We have a number of these. The church we use them for portable uh, events, weddings, outside events, things like that. I uh, just wanted to do a quick video to show how to scan for uh, open frequency. So when you set this thing up, uh, you don't really know what environment you're going to be in, what frequencies will be available. So um, you need to do a scan to see what's available. And it's a really easy, quick process. Um, so with the unit powered up, you see it's plugged in. It's displaying uh, the bank and the channel number here. This is not 21. It's bank 2, channel 1. Um, with the transmitter off, if you press the center button where it says set scan, press and hold it for three seconds you'll see it zoop, it spins around and it starts flashing. That frequency is available, bank two, channel one. So if you just press it again, it locks it in. It's literally that simple. It just does a quick scan to see what frequencies are taken. Um, and so that will show that you shouldn't run into inter in any interference. Uh, the next thing you'll need to do is sync uh, the frequency that you scanned on your receiver to the transmitter. It's a really easy process. Uh, you'll see this transmitter here, I don't know if you can see it, it's set to bank one, channel one, which our receiver has scanned and has found that bank one, or I'm uh, excuse me, bank two, channel one is free. So what we need to do is, let's see if I can do this. There's a sync button on the transmitter and a sync button here on the receiver. If we push and hold both of these, you'll see a light is going to light up here. When you see that light, then you push the sync button on the receiver again, and that will lock it in. So, see that? And then press the sync button again. You just saw that little light flash, and now it's showing that it's picking up signal from the transmitter. If we look at the transmitter, it's now set to bank two, channel one. So now it is ready to go. So literally 20 second process and you'll be up and running with a clean channel that you should not run into any interference with. Now the other thing to note is if you're using more than one unit, um, if you do a scam with one unit with all the transmitters off, the bank number needs to stay the same. So if you're using bank two, you can have channel one on this one, and then the other unit should be channel two, channel three, and so on. So your bank numbers all need to stay the same. They can't be a different bank number. That could cause uh, an issue uh, picking up interference across your wireless system. So hopefully that helps. So yeah, there you go.